Hey you guys, jman 37 x here bringing you episode 50 of Epic Battle Fantasy V. Last time, we went into the, um, the spooky old man's house and found this, uh, very familiar looking, uh, Ruby of Death here. And we, um, took care of this fight here, some big, really big worms, and showed what was in a couple of these coral chests. And this time, uh, I just think we're actually gonna be doing something a bit different than I was ex originally expecting to do. Um... So first off, just a couple of clarifications. One, um, I realize you actually can't reach this inner area at all right now. I thought that maybe if you got rid of this block, you could actually squeeze through here. But, and get this hidden item and get to this chest and all that. But you actually can't. It's completely... Whoops. It's completely off limits until we have whatever item lets us break these. Um, and... I think that was actually the main thing I wanted to go over. Oh, actually, no. There's one more thing. So if we go over to the... Uh, like, right before we enter Greenwood Village, uh, we will we'll see something interesting has now happened. I believe this was triggered either by beating Laurelin or getting the Raft. Those are two separate triggers, even though they kind of happen at pretty much the exact same time. <laughs> um, and to, to, to add to that, you remember I showed off two new glitch portals that have opened up? Um, I don't really need to go show them. Uh, one in Mystic Woods and... Uh, this one here in Mystic Woods, and this one here in Grand Gallery. The one in Mystic Woods opens up after you beat Laurelin. The one in... the uh, Sorry, the one in Hope Harbor outside the Grand Gallery. That one opens up after you get the Raft. Which, you, you probably wouldn't ever even notice that they have separate triggers. But they, they do actually. So technically, the one in Mystic Woods happens first. So that's the one we're going to be taking care of soon. But... Before we do that, um, you'll notice something's happened here. Robots are attacking. That, <laughs> that, that's all we get from this guy. Basically, there's a bunch of metal idols around now, uh, around this screen. It was kind of similar to the bush quest we had up in Greenwood, I think, uh, over here, where we helped this guy build the house. Um, it's pretty much that, uh, except with with robots. So we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and take care of this. Um, okay, what are these guys? Level 28. So these guys aren't too over leveled. 78 evade. Okay, most of our guys are pretty likely to hit them. We'll, we'll, we'll drop a bind here just to make sure. <clears throat> okay. Um, I haven't changed my equips around, but it should probably be fine. Uh, we're just going to... I think we'll, we'll actually let let uh, let Ana take, the, take the, the initiative here. See how that does. Pretty good. See, we got a battery there. Same as before, um... How with the bushes you got like twigs or no it wasn't twigs what, what did you get? Oh, it was planks. I think you got planks. Um, okay, we're actually gonna buff up. Um, this time you just get batteries, which you may remember the batteries from. Was that the third or the fourth? The factory. I think that was the fourth game. What's the fourth game? I'm pretty sure that's the fourth game. They had the batteries where you put them in the different. You use them in the factory to like maneuver around. Um, here they're just they're just basic. Uh, just like generic quest items, really. But, um, you know, little little nods here and there to the older games. Alright, this should kill. Still, yeah, okay. oh, that actually did more damage. Okay. Oh, alright. Level 32 Jetfish. Hmm. Okay. Let's... Evade is quite high. Um, bind is still on cooldown. Let's try and get the initiative with this. But for a turn early. Okay, so we got this guy's evade down. Still 81. It's not even. It didn't even help us that much, but it helped us. Helped us some at least. Um, actually, I think the better call is to go for this, and then potentially get a stun. What are the stun chances? Oh, uh, it's actually guaranteed to stun if it hits. Nice. Okay. Oh yeah, see, these guys are actually very dangerous. You're you're gonna want to make sure that at least one of these guys is incapacitated, if at all possible, because the, these guys can actually hurt pretty hard. Let, let's rebind. Um, okay, so now I can actually still miss. All right, all right. It, it's not likely to miss, but it is act. It is actually still possible that she misses here. Uh, we're gonna do this just to play it safe. Get the auto revive there. Okay. Single target's fine. Honestly, I consider their AoEs a little bit more scary just because they, uh, it, it's pretty serious damage for an AoE. Uh, okay, so this should finish this coming off. Okay. 
Let's stun on him. That's fine. <clears throat> let's just heal up. Let's play it absolutely safe here. Oh, we need to catch one of these guys. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do that then. Yes, we'll go ahead and capture. Discontinued. It's a bad idea to give robot fish machine guns. There's a funny story about that. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> but why is it a fish? I don't know. I wish I had all the answers. Um, okay, now I think we're going to try this. Go for a surge, which could stagger. Um, let's try the capture anyway. This is a pretty low-level enemy. But yeah, it's a cardboard box. Okay. <laughs> not too bad. Uh, AoE bomb attack. Eh, pretty mediocre at this point in the game. Um, I think that was a capture. I mean, considering we already had them scanned, I actually guarantee that was a capture we had missed. Um, the first time we went through the Iron Fortress. <coughs> um, okay. And also, I would like to make a... Hold on, let me just check here. 28, 29... Okay. So, again, very, very slightly overleveled, but really not by much. So, actually... Oh, no, they're all weak to fire. Okay, perfect. Uh, we still need to heal. But... Okay. So, I, I want to make a slight addition to the list. I made, uh, I think, two episodes ago where I was talking about, um, <clears throat> um, I was talking about what my kind of plans were for the, the, basically the stuff I was going to be doing before we made a significant progress into the main story again. To that list, I'd like to add Grand Gallery. I, um, so on, on Twitch, I, did not do Grand Gallery until right before the... I, I'm currently doing Grand Gallery as of recording this. Um, right before the, the, the fighting the final boss. Um, and in hindsight, I don't think that was the best decision. The, okay, so the, the Grand Gallery is... is It's going to be pretty tough this early on. I, I think at least. I, I suspect. Um, wow, that was really good. Um... But the rewards you get from it are, some of the rewards you get are really good, and they're, some of them are actually useless, completely useless if I get them as late in the game as I'm getting them now on Twitch. So, I think, I, I don't know what I want to do with that yet. Basically, I, I'll go over it a bit more once we get there, but each of these, so there's four doorways here, and there's, I think, looks like six doors up here. Each one has a different metal count, but the problem is right now, um, I have almost every medal in the game because I'm playing it already on Twitch, so I, I just am not sure. Basically, I think my best way to do it is to get feedback from people who, just like people who might be able to give general advice as far as how to pace stuff like that. But um, does she have the? Yeah, okay, she does. <laughs> um, but basically, I want to make sure that I'm not doing anything that you couldn't also be able to do the first time you come here. So, I, probably my best option is going to be to check my live streams and try and find roughly what point, like how many medals I had at this point, roughly, um, when I did this on Twitch. That's pretty good. Um, I think something along those lines is going to be my best means of, of addressing it. Because I really, you know, like like I said, there's some really good stuff there. I don't want you guys to miss out on some of the stuff like I did when I played. So I, I want to be able to help you guys have more of an advantage than I do. Because some, like I said, some of this stuff is, um, <clears throat> it's it's pretty absurd. The, oh, that's actually going to hurt a lot. Um, it's kind of insane some of the stuff I actually missed out on. Um, so I, I definitely want to do that. I, I will... I will be doing some of Grand Gallery, maybe just the first couple of rooms that we can a that we would be able to access. But again, it's it's gonna take me doing a little bit of research, and I think I'll probably want to do that also before the second premium dungeon. So that's that's kind of a slight update, a slight addition to um, to the plans. And let's see, how are we doing on batteries? And how are we doing on eggs? Twelve eggs, seven batteries. Okay, doesn't really. As long as you do all the fights, you're gonna get all the batteries you need. I was just kind of curious. Um, so yeah, Grand Gallery, I would expect soon-ish. Oh, this is actually a new one. Um, I think we'll probably do it after Forgotten Temple. So we'll do it, pro that'll probably be what we do right before we hit up the second premium dungeon. Probably. 
Um, okay, so this is a steam fish. It attacks with wind skills and fire off explosive blasts when killed, as you'd expect from the fish. Um, ice, wind, and bomb. These guys actually aren't weak to bomb, which is interesting. Um, so they actually don't... Excuse me, they don't share any weaknesses. And we do have to make sure we catch one of those, but uh, the fish are low-level... Um, our low tier encounters, so the, the captures should be pretty straightforward. Um, how's the evade? 96, yeah, okay. I, I neglected to do it last fight, it didn't come back to bite me, but I definitely want to do this. Um, okay. And then... Actually... I think I will want him to attack here and drop a... I'm not sure actually I want to drop a Moab, because that'd be a little bit concerned that that would actually just kill these guys. So I think we're just going to start with an, uh, that's only 120 power. They, they should live this. He doesn't have a bomb weapon equipped. Yeah, okay. And then we get the two turn stagger, which is really nice. Um, we could probably catch one of these guys next turn, to be honest, and then I could just have no legs wreak havoc on, on the survivors. Very popular design back in the day of airships and steam power. I, I'd like to see that kind of setting for uh, for an EBF game. Not that they're, I don't actually remember that line either. That, that'd be pretty cool. Um. Okay, I, I think we're going to have to revive these guys a little bit later. Uh, first, let's... Actually, let's let's just let him go first. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Uh, let's, let's do water. Take out these guys. There we go. Okay. Um, is that better? No, I actually think we're still better off trying to capture this one. So I'm, I'm just going to switch around just just because. Um, I think we're still better off trying to capture this one because Stagger is really nice. It's like a big help. There we go. Okay. Only two shakes. Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to catch these, these guys. Uh, may make them lighter. AoE wind attack, which a very, very slight chance to, to inflict light. So, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, actually, I didn't check. I didn't check. I think it's... I think that was physical. I think that was a physical attack. Um, that actually makes it a little bit more desirable. Because there is precisely one physical um, wind attack in the entire game. It's just um, Gale or whatever that um, that Matt has right now. So, it's, it's actually pretty hard to come by. Let's, let's just get everyone revived, so I don't have to worry about it. And I think I'll have him heal, or maybe I'll... Uh, don't think I've forgiven you. Alright, let, let's let no legs heal and do a bit of damage. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so... The currently plan is, finish this. Mystic Woods Glitch Area. Forgotten Temple. Grain Gallery. Second Premium Dungeon. And then we start working towards the main quest. There is, like I said last, or a couple episodes, there is, um, actually, you know what? Oh, we can't, okay. Uh, we're just gonna kill them. Uh, there is just a lot of stuff we can do right now, and a lot of it is, so here's the thing, is that the, right now, as far as the main areas go, we're kind of at an intermission series, or an intermission point, where... Clearing out Rainbow River is required, but it's more or less a segue, kind of like a like a side thing that we have to do before heading to our main, our next proper new area. So there's, I, I might intersperse making a bit more progress in the river as well. Like there's just so many options for me to, for what I can do. Uh, you can see why it's a bit of a nightmare for me, someone like me especially, to try and plan this out. Um, Easy XP, Stragos Iron Fortress, the latest Windows update. Okay, so you see we get Bullet Bob. This is a really cool skill. Um, this is actually a very significant one for me, um, and just in general for the second premium dungeon. So you'll, you know, you, I would certainly imagine that you would be inclined to do this first, but you want to make sure that you, yeah, you definitely do. So you can see, obviously you don't want Lance to learn this. That's 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 just redundant. Um, but both Matt and No Legs. Um, neither of them actually learn a bomb skill naturally, but in my opinion, this is just a better fit on Matt. Um, high crit rate, bomb attack, it's it's very straightforward attack. See, so it upgrades to big bullet there. Um, it's very straightforward, but it's very good. Um, and in particular, this can potentially help you out a lot in the, um, 
the, the second premium dungeon, depending on what order you do some of the other things in. We'll, we'll get to that, we'll get to that later on. Um, but okay, we got a bit of, bit of extra time, so I think we're going to go ahead and actually head into the, uh, the next glitch area. We'll get a, we'll get a little sneak peek. Actually, hold on. Uh, okay. Uh, let, let me just make sure there's no other kind of more incidental things we can do. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and hop into it here. It's not as big a deal. Basically, the first glitch area, I wanted to make a big deal out of it, because, you know, it's the first one. But now you kind of see what to expect. So I don't really mind just kind of, uh, uh, popping right in here. Okay, so, this is cannot- this is- as far as I can tell, this is the, the most sensible choice for the second glitch area to take care of. We wanted somewhere we shouldn't have. Uh, these are just secret levels. I'm sure we aren't supposed to see this. So, pretty much every time there's a free chest in these areas, which is nice. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up the... I think there's oh, usually at least one, typically two, um, secrets. And they're always really good. You can see a sapphire and an emerald. That's very good. Um, and there's the other one. Okay. I think those are both of them in this area. Uh, not quite as nice, but you know. <clears throat> okay, so we have two optional fights, or one optional fight and two that are, uh, that block a chest. Pretty standard. Let me just, I actually don't remember exactly what we've got going on in this area. So let's, let's also, uh, I don't remember if this happened last time. Uh, the, the evil, the dark looking faces, kind of scary. I think it did. Okay, so these are green pixels. Um, just normal green slimes, you know, not the too crazy. Um, they, they pretty much have all the main properties of, of the mud slimes. That's a two waiver. Again, I'm just I just kinda wanna take a little peek into these encounters. I don't remember exactly what they each bring. This one's also two waves. These are very tiny green pixels, but they are still your level, so don't let the size uh, don't let the size uh, distract you. And then we've got one more down here. Let's just take a look. This one is actually only one wave. Um, so obviously we want to catch one of the green pixels here. Um, but they are still susceptible to instant death. So, I think we're going to try and have some fun in this fight. <laughs> um, so let's let's try and throw together a, a no legs. Because I think that's what we did last time. We did a, a bad luck plus doom setup to inflict instant death on a huge scale. Um, hold on, what is 15%? Uh, that's not that good. We, we can do better than that. So we can get this up to 50% doom if we get that maxed out. Um, actually, we can upgrade some of these other things as well that are just generally useful. Um, yeah, let's let's do a little bit of upgrading. I haven't upgraded some stuff in a while. Okay, just just wanted to touch up on a couple of flares. So uh, I don't think it matters that much what weapon we use here. Probably want something with high accuracy actually. So. The dog sausage. I guess the light bulb will work. Oh, we to earth though. Yeah, sure. We'll do, we'll do the dog sausage. Why not? Okay, now do we have anything that increases the chance of inflicting status? I don't. Oh, increase the chance of inflict. Oh, right. Okay. Cool. So we got that. I don't think we have anything for the chest that's gonna help with that. Um, but that is gonna boost our instant death chance by 1.5. So that's now a 75% chance. So this is, against these enemies, this is actually a 100% instant death chance. Um, and uh, that, that's uh, that actually, I think, is the only thing we need to do here. Um, I almost just overwrote the wrong saves. That would have been bad. Um, I, I actually, I'm concerned that this is going to be too easy. I, I'm going to catch one of these guys first. Let, let's at least see a little bit of what they can do. <laughs> um... You notice they, they also they can't be stunned or frozen. I think that's I'm pretty sure that's not normal for this enemy for the the green slimes. Um, so that is actually a slightly new property. Uh, let's see, dark. Let's do this. I, I really just want to try and go for the capture on this guy. Let's do. Yeah, it's actually it's actually preemptively useless because I'm gonna want to help have that help with capturing anyway. And let's see. I don't remember, I mean, I know it's a small box, but I think these guys are a little bit, yeah. Very confused. <laughs> face. Okay, yeah, they, they might st they might look like slimes, but they, they are still a little bit tricky enemies. Rancid butter? Okay. That's, uh, 
That's a, that's a that's a new one to me. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, honest dead. Um, if I recall, these enemies do give XP, so we'll want to make sure to revive her. Um, we're go really going to want to capture him this turn. So let's. Um, it, it's just going to get a little awkward. It's going to get a little bit tricky to deal with if we don't get him this turn. So I'm just trying to think of my best option. I think probably Lance is going to be my best option. Let's try this. Okay. So yeah, we needed to weaken. We need to capture. And then... Oh, well, hold on. Greed Pixel. Weak Biomagic, making them very tired, which is nice. That's a really nice property. Um, single target, five turn bio. Um, especially while we're still working on getting the um, Gaia Blossom skill upgraded. Um, very nice. And I'm pretty sure this is just guaranteed to kill them now. I, I think this is guaranteed to instantly kill everything. So yeah, this one's not too bad. <laughs> you'll also you'll also have noticed that pretty much every single, at least the first wave of both of the other fights, um, are along this, along similar lines. So uh, we're gonna end it off here. But I suspect um, when we revisit this area next time, it's it's gonna not take that long. <laughs> we'll have to see though. So I expect next time we also might be, you know, we might actually do Grand Gallery next time then. Because we could just kind of slot those in. The the forgotten the forgotten ruins is like a bit more of a cohesive kind of area, so we we might do that. I, like I said, there's gonna be a lot of me flipping around the order that I do things um, for a little while, because I'm just trying to figure figure out the best way to handle it. But anywho, thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I meant to mention it earlier though. Um, for any of you guys who have already played the game <clears throat> and are looking to see someone fight the final boss for the very first time without knowing anything about it. Um, no, no spoilers, also, obviously. But um, tonight, I believe, I think I'm switching back to Monday, Wednesday, Friday stream schedule. Um, and tonight at 6 p.m. EST, I believe I will be fighting the final boss. So, if that's of interest to you, certainly feel free to stop by. Uh, feel free to let anyone know. I'm going to be posting about it on my social medias if you want to, I don't know, notify anyone in the community or anything. Because some people tuned in for another specific interesting fight that I did recently. So I wasn't sure if the, you know, other people were, if people were going to want to do that type of thing again. Um, but I'm very excited. Like I said, I don't know who the final boss is. Um, so I, I'm very excited for that. So if that's of any interest, like I said, feel free to head down, hit the follow button, and um, that way you'll get notified when I go live. Also check the description for a link to my Discord if you want to keep in touch about, you know, if I have to change that live stream or any other live streams. Um, it's useful. And also I just like uh, hanging out with you guys. We got a bunch of chats there for different games and stuff like that. But um, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. And next time we're going to finish up this glitch area and probably head into a little bit of the Grand Gallery, at least this room. And um, maybe one of the top rooms. But we'll have to see. Um, so yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you guys later.